Thanks for uh, inviting me to speak today. Looking at the energy metabolism, and this is where I am personally pretty interested and my own research interests lie. But looking at substrate utilization, I did want to emphasize one point. We're all sitting here eating muffins and half and half in laced coffee and stuff. And so we're actually depending on fatty acids predominantly. About 70 80% of the uptake for fuel in the heart is fatty acids. About 20 to 30% is glucose. Interestingly, before you're born, when you're in the womb where fatty acid supply is a lot less abundant and glucose is freely abundant, glucose is the predominant substrate. It's about flipped the other way around, about 70, 30. Immediately after birth, a lot of changes occur that cause one to flip over to fatty acids. And I'll talk about that transition and some of the modulators of that. But even more interestingly, if all these muffins are making my coronaries start to block off, which I don't know yet, but may find out someday, um, those regions of the myocardium are actually shifting back to glucose. Um, and so there's a switch back, the ability of the heart to switch back and forth between glucose and fatty acids as needed. In heart failure, this switch definitely occurs. Uh, this is out of a New England Journal article that just popped out. So this is just a timeline. Uh, and this is fatty acid utilization, which as you can see decreases. Glucose utilization, which initially increases, so glucose uptake and the, you know, the reliance on glucose increases for a while until it decompensates. And then you can see towards the end of heart failure, energy substrate uptake, no matter what it is, glucose or fatty acids, decreases, 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 decreases. decreases. 